And there is a very scary anti-gay, anti-trans obsession on the right across the country right now. Let's erase the hate. And unfortunately, some people are. What would you do? You might have a drag queen story hour. There appears to be unrest in our country surrounding drag queens and what we do. And it's time for me to make a statement regarding this unwarranted hate. The victimization of children is demonic. I've learned in my years that anger is a beautiful disguise for fear. But what are you afraid of? I'm Ed Popel, he, him, 52-year-old gay man who is happily married for 20 years, two stepdaughters, a new son-in-law. Oh, we've got a soul pup named Max. And I love Tina Turner, coffee, cake, and popcorn. <laughs> You're simply the best. I'm a full-time drag artist named Mrs. Kasha Davis, she, her. And most of my performances are brunches, college positivity talks, bingos, and drag story hour. Why drag? I can't speak for anyone but myself, but I perform in drag for a few reasons. Number one, it's fun. I get to entertain people with my character that I created and make them laugh. And there's no greater payment than laughter. And you drop me a letter, I'd hire a band and spread the welcome mat for you. Two, to be an example of a happy, healthy person living their truth so that others who struggle can see a reflection and be inspired to be themselves. Three, to embrace, love, and nurture the child in my heart. Little Eddie felt less than. Too feminine to be a boy, too interested in fancy things and in many ways in the closet. And this negative self-talk and comparison took me down very dark, dangerous roads in my life. And I just don't want that for anyone else. Four, MKD encourages self-love, following your dreams no matter your age, gratitude, acceptance, and kindness. Five, dressing in drag as Mrs. Kasha Davis is a celebration of all that is me. Masculine, feminine, fancy, sensitive, and strong. Married, a parent, sober, and always learning. If we're not learning, we're not living. What can I do about the hate? Be myself. Loudly and proudly, I will read books, sing songs, and tell jokes, and look across crowded rooms of children of all ages who identify as themselves and feel that palpable energy of hope for a world with more acceptance, love, laughter, and generosity. And the gentle reminder that there's always time for kindness.